What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go Black to Africa. All right, we're right here in Ethiopia in Lalabella. This right here is um, my guide here. Introduce yourself. So my name is Mulu. I'm from here, from Lalibala, Ethiopia. And I live here in Lalibala since I was born. <laughs> and I work here as a tour guide in, in Ethiopia and in Lalibala as well. So. Uh, All right, so you can go ahead and say what you started so off. So I would like to say uh, welcome to my friend. Welcome to the Holy Land, Lalibala. This is our holiest place in Ethiopia. And we call it the second Jerusalem or African Jerusalem. So the, I would like to say welcome to the African Jerusalem. Uh, Lalibala is the holiest place in Ethiopia, next to the Aksum, and one of the holiest cities in Aksum as well, and Lalibala as well. Uh, Lalibala is called the uh, king name. That's uh, called in Amharic language. Lal means honey, and Bella means eater. Or Lalibala means honey eater. So that is the name of the king. We used to give for the, his town, and uh, his, he was also the founder of the town. And he was built the churches uh, in the time of 12th century. And he was the king and the emperor of Ethiopia from the 1210 uh, until the 1260. And he was ruled Ethiopia for 40 years. So during his regime for 40 years, he built and uh, rocky churches from out of the rocks. This kind of magnificent churches carved out from magnificent huge mountainous rock just dig it out and carved out from the ground surface and uh, the, those was built in the 12th century there are 12 churches in number so the one we found here called Beta Madahani Alam Beit means house in Amharic language in Ethiopian language uh, Madahani Alam means house of the savior of the world and this is the biggest and the uh, largest rock hewn church found in the world which is standing out from single rock the biggest and the rock hewn church in the world so we found out the church with the lots of pillar from around all over the outside from the interior side as well more than 72 pillars supporting this church but all of them are hewn out from one single rock hewn out from one single rock from one single rock <clears throat> Okay. And all of them found below the ground surface, so all the churches has connected with maze, tunnel, and are, uh, trenches. They are connected in underground. So they planned out with passages, with drainages, uh, with accesses, uh, one to each other churches, and access for every people to to move out from one to the next church as well. And. We're going to down to see the interior of the church and surrounding the, the churches. So we will go to continue seeing the churches start. Okay, all right. Now you were sharing with me that there are churches that are older than this. Yeah. Yes, and where are those located? Those churches are next to this church called Beta Mariam, House of Mary. Make, uh, found to next to this church. Okay, so, so now I asked a question. I asked a question because people want to know. All right, I'm here to show the truth. If you're gonna call it House of Mary, what was what's the original your language name? Beta Mariam. Beta Mariam, and I'm, I want to show y'all that the names that we're used to, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Mary, Joseph, those were names that were translated into English that we're familiar with, taken away from the original language that is called what? Amharic. Amharic. Or Ge'ez language, which is an ancient language in East Africa or in the world. And so you have to understand that most of us coming from the West, especially America, our mindset is that, that the Europeans, they corrupted everything. And yet here on the ground, you get to hear the truth and you get to see the truth. You get to see things a whole lot older than when you go and dig into the soils of Europe. You can't find structures like this, this old. All right. So we're going to move forward on to the interior. Okay. Now 
be back. So, how this church was built? It was built by King Lalibala, as I said. It was built by his vision. Something to build. It has been some reason or vision, some uh, mission. So King Lalibala, since he was born, he was like chosen person, and he was ordered to build a church or to be a holy person. So during his birth uh, in Lalibala, he was surrounded by honey beans. The little baby he was surrounded by honey beans. So Lalibala, when his mother saw those, those honey beans all over the body of the baby, she said, Lalibala. So she was told that the bees going to bite her baby. <laughs> but the, bee, the bees were not uh, biting her baby. They were just surrounding and and putting honey in his mouth and licking him. So she said, Lal Bella. She saw, she saw honey all over the babies and the honey beans as well. Oh, okay. So Lal, he was eating honey. Bella is eating. Lal is honey, is Bella is eating. Okay. So those, ha those honey beans recognize that this uh, king will be very known and a sweet king and very uh, chosen king by the God. Okay. So he, he was went to grow up studying the church school, and he went to the monasteries studying the, uh, from his teachers and clergy, uh, to become a priest and to become a church servant. So at the time of his age, he saw lots of migrants, Ethiopians, heard about the holy city Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. In the time of the 12th century, they just crossed out to the desert, went to the Middle East to see the holy place where Jesus was born, where Jesus crucified, and where Jesus uh, buried. So many people from East Africa, from Ethiopia, to went to Jerusalem, buried thousands of kilometers on foot and the back of animals. So most people, they passed away in the middle of the desert, in the Sinai desert. So he came an idea to build the holiest place, uh, looks like Jerusalem, in his country, in his hometown. So he returned to back to Halibala from his visiting to Jerusalem and started copying to the holy city, building in, in Ethiopia and built an African Jerusalem. So everything that we found in Lalibela is totally copied out from Jerusalem. We have Bethlehem, where the Jesus was born, called the place of Jesus' birth, and Golgotha, where the Jesus brutal place, where he was uh, graved out, and uh, the place was uh, Calvary, Mount Calvary, the place where Jesus crucified, and other uh, Bethania, uh, Mount Olive, or Mount Tabor, or we called, the, we named them and give a name, a copy of in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Okay. And all the churches, which is carved out from a huge mountainous rock, the rock called type called uh, volcanic tufa rock. So they are easy, uh, much easy to carve out uh, by simple primitive tools like hammer and chisel and axe. We used it to carve out all the churches by those primitive tools in the ancient time, in the 12th century, almost 1,000 years ago. Let me ask you this right here. <clears throat> I see. Is there any, any carved out churches in the ground like this in Jerusalem? No, uh, it, it will be carved out like a simple cave or some small caves, which is carved out from the cliff side or uh, something which is to protect or shelter. But only the house looks like a built up house carved out from one single rock called Lalibela Rocking Church. Okay. Found only in Ethiopia. Nowhere, nowhere any similarity found uh, freestanding or a monolithic church in Ethiopia. Okay, because you said King Lalibela, he came and copied from Jerusalem. You said he copied what was in Jerusalem. Yeah. You can't find us in Jerusalem. Uh, he copied giving the name that he brought out 
to make it this place as a holy place. Okay. Because people don't have to cross once again to, say, to the desert to, to be to the holy city. Okay. So rather than to go to the holy city, uh, lost in their lives, so they stay their place having this holy city, asking his God to make, to bless this place, as counted as a holy place, and people can worship in their holy places. Okay, so um, let me ask you this question right here, and then we'll move on. Um, the Jerusalem, where it's located, do y'all consider that still part of Africa? Because uh, you mentioned the word Middle East. Middle East was just started, was considered in the 1950s, 40s. Mm -hmm. Israel was named in 1948. So do you consider Jerusalem or where Israel is part of Africa? Uh, Your we, history. We call it Jerusalem, the place where now Israel. Okay. Uh, because that the place uh, we used to hear the story of Jesus of lifestyles where he was uh, in the time of his uh, place in earth. So the place of Jesus where he was born called Bethlehem. So we know that Bethlehem, when we say Bethlehem or uh, Israel, we, we, go, we go into in Israel to okay. see the place, what we call it at the present time. Okay. But to, to date it out, to perfect out the date, how Jerusalem found or how Jerusalem were exactly, but it doesn't uh, have the perfect as it needs more uh, researches and more uh, yeah. needs. Okay, thanks. All right, let's move on to the next. Yeah.